What's up guys? Today what I have is a box from gazelle.com and what I want to do is I got this old iPhone 5 that I had. Um, I recently got the iPhone 6 and what I want to do is sell this thing. Now gazelle.com I have used before back when I had a iPhone 4 and I trust them because they got me my money. No, no questions asked. I sent them my phone in this same style box and Within a few days to a week, I had my money in my PayPal account. So I just want to kind of document the whole experience here and uh, let you see what it's all about. That case, in, in case you were ever wanting to sell yours, but you were kind of like, well, I don't know about sending people I don't even know my phone. I'm going to show you the whole process here. That way you may feel a little bit more comfortable about it. So... Uh, what I did was I went to gazelle.com, I entered my account info, you have to set up your account if you've never used them before. Entered my account info, told them what I had, what, what kind of memory it was, it's an iPhone 5 with 32 gig of memory, and uh, told them what, what I wanted to sell, and uh, they gave me an estimated value of it and told me how much they thought it would be worth. So I said, yeah, that's cool, uh, go ahead and send me the box. So they sent me this box, I got it in the mail yesterday. And uh, this is what it's all about. So, Gazelle, and it's got this label. That's their address. So I'm gonna show you what we got to do here. Um, once you open the box, it's got instructions on the the lid. It says tuck gadget between protective foam. It says a fixed enclosed label directly over mailing address on the outside of this box. It says seal with orange sticker and drop off the nearest blue mailbox or post office and hand it to your or hand it to your friendly mail carrier. So I can stick this in one of those blue mailboxes. I can go to the post office and drop it off or hand it to the guy that's delivering mail uh, walking down the street or coming up to my mailbox. So we open the box and this is what we got. We got these pieces of foam. So we're going to take this out. And uh, it's kind of like egg crate, black egg crate foam. And uh, they send. The sticker that it was referring to in step two and it says prepare your device for shipping turn off device um device tracking turn off device tracking so this is like find find my iphone um leaving this on would lock and delay and or reduce your payment so it's it's saying if you leave that on it can it can make the phone lock up which will make them take more time and more work to get it unlocked where they can make sure everything's working so turn that off that way you can make sure you get your full amount um, deactivate any kind of existing service and pay remaining balance on your bill um, unlock your device make sure you got any password or security turned off back up all your data and erase it off of the phone that's common sense and it says just send your device Please do not send any extra items that you did not submit online. We cannot pay you for additional units. So if you send chargers or headphones or anything like that, they're not going to give you any any extra money. So you might as well hold on to those. So what we got is uh, when we fold it out, I'm just going to show you. Uh, this is kind of their verification thing for my phone. They Apple iPhone 32 gigabyte AT and T, and they offer me ninety five dollars. So I'm going to take them up on that offer. And uh, the next section that we flip out has got the uh, return shipping label. We'll be sticking that on in a few minutes. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our iPhone. We've already erased it. I, I hooked it up to iTunes and, and had a, done a restore and update. So it updated the phone and, and restored it, and I stopped it before it could sync any data to it. So none of my pictures or contacts or messages or anything. We're on here this is just like a brand new iPhone out of the box as far as uh, software goes so um, we're just gonna cut that off actually I'm gonna I don't know what this is I ain't never seen that before but anyway we're just gonna slide the power off like that and I'm gonna lay it just like that in the box I'm gonna take my egg crate I'm gonna place it over the top and then I'm gonna shut this guy down Now, what we got to do next is we got to take this shipping label. After we've went through our checklist, make sure you go through all these steps again, and uh, to make sure you got everything right, because you don't want them to take more time than they have to to give you your money. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this shipping label and, and not even remove the shipping label off the top. I'm just going to stick this, this new one right over the top of that. So I'm going to do that off camera real quick. Alright, so we got our new label on, and uh, step number two was actually the sticker, this was step three, but we're going to do step two now, which is take uh, take this little sticker here that they send you, so we can get this thing peeled off. Bear with me here. Yeah. So we're going to take this sticker here and we're just going to make sure everything's tight. If you want to do one final check, now's the time. Make sure you got everything right. So we're just going to take that and fold over the corner. Like that and then fold it over. And that's going to ensure that the box stays closed while it's being shipped. So now... All we got to do is go out and stick this in the mailbox. And today, just so you'll know, it is the 30th of April at 10 after 5. So I'm going to step out to the mailbox. And we're going to drop this in. And I will come back to you and finish this video up when I get my money in my account. And I'll show you that it's in there. That way you can know that you trust these guys. Like I said, I've dealt with them before. And I know they're going to give me my money because they did last time. So I have no uh, no uh, problem with sending it to them. But anyway, like I said, I just want to show you all this. That way you'll feel more comfortable with the whole process. But that's really all there is to it. And uh, like I said, I'm going to come back in a, in a few days and give you an update and show you that I did get the money in my account. Okay, guys, here we are on my PayPal page. And what I wanted to go ahead and show you to sum this uh, experience up was that it is May the 6th actually today but I got this late last night but uh, when I shipped my gazelle box back in with my iPhone 5 I just wanted to show you that this is my PayPal account and uh, within that little bit of time it's showing that gazelle on May 5th payment received of $95 just like they told me so uh, like I said before I got 100% confident confidence in this company I've dealt with them before and they, they do me right every time. They tell you what they're going to pay you before uh, you actually send the phone to them. As long as you're honest with them up front and the condition of the phone, um, you can just about rest assured you're going to get the amount that you paid for. Alright, thanks for watching.